Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly DLC. I'm one of your hosts, Karosh, joined always by my co-host, Daniel. Oh, mommy. Dan Jane. Midsummer. <laughs> No, I'm out. Um, if you're not familiar with what we do, we come to you each and every week to podcasting services of your choice, whether they be iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, everything under the bus, everything in between. Uh, we sit over. around a table, everything over the bus, you know, uh, over the bridge, under the bus. Uh, we sit around a table, we have some nerdy conversation about comics, games, movies, everything kind of like gets in between all that stuff. We have some fun. We hope you have fun. This is episode 126. Thank you for joining us again. And if you're new, you're in for a treat. And if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, with that, we're going to do the weekly chatter of like how our week's been at the end of the, the podcast. So stick around if you want to check that out. But we'll go right into the topics. Vargas, would you like to start us off? Yeah, I want to talk about a shirt first. It's a fantastic oh, yeah. shirt, dude. It's Swag. Yeah, it's Cos? Sweet. <laughs> Cos. Exclusive Cos. streetwear. From New York. Worth 200 mm-hmm. bucks. Mm. <laughs> now, so my topic is um, Tetris. So Tetris 99 specifically has announced a collaboration with uh, another game from the same company that, <laughs> oh, I don't know, uh, with <laughs> Nintendo, which is the um, Splatoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I, so that's, it's, it's, I think it's a really neat idea to do these collaborations with, I mean, obviously with mul- multiple multiple things, but I want to stick with with specifically Tetris. What other collaborations do you think you guys think will be really cool? And as of now, I, I feel like it's going to be running or it's going to be getting boring. Like it's the same thing over and over and over um, when it comes to the play style, which I guess you can't really change that, but you can kind of like... Um, change the way the look is and the feel of the game is by changing the visuals. Mm. So what what other things do you think they can do to kind of like keep people enticed? You know, like how the way Fortnite and at least Apex does it, they've got like the, you know, the weekly pass or the the year the season, season pass. passes. Um, in which you get different skins or different well, Fortnite sounds. Fortnite does those theme things like Avengers and yeah. John Wick, and now I guess Stranger Things is the latest one. Yeah, portals have been opening up. But I mean, they can also change the way the game is played. Like, not not only is it just trying to become number sure, one, sure. they can add like you can only use snipers, you can only do this. So I guess Tetris could technically do that. You can only you know get rid of lines by doing T spins or something like that. You know. Um, but you just, you know, leaving it up to you guys, what do you guys think they can change to, to spice up the game itself and what are cool collaborations they can do in the future other than Splatoon? I'm going to keep it with Nintendo. <clears throat> Zelda. Mm-hmm. Just have like, um, the Zelda. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if you could just pick whatever song, like you got a song list from all the Zelda category. Use that. It speeds up. Yeah. Um, Super when angry. you clear stuff, it does the. Doo, 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 doo. I don't know. Make, the the Zelda, chest opening. <laughs> yeah, Zelda sounds and then. Um, yeah, just keep it Nintendo. I think it'd be cool. I don't know how it would work, but hear me out. Each um, column that you're dropping pieces on is a different note on an ocarina. Mm. And so your goal is to. In, the way you would uh, get a Tetris off like you would clear lines, is by matching the song mm. as it's coming. So be like, it'll play in the background like a melody of mm-hmm. like Garuda Valley yeah, or whatever, nice. but then it'll be like, play Song of Time, and it'll be like, ba, da, da, da. Yeah. And like, you get the line pieces. It's like, so it, it would suck if you built up on one side and you're like, fuck, I can't like yeah. land anything there. But every time you hit on a line, whether however even however you orient it, it doesn't have to be just that line. But you'd hit as long as you hit the one of the one of your faces hits that column, yeah. you would get that note off. Mm. Um, and you could do cool combos. You can do cool music. I like the idea of like syncing the music with it. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, the Splatoon one, for instance, that one they're just doing like a skin. Right. Um, so the the but, whole tournament, it, there's nothing anything there's nothing fancy going on when when it comes to the gameplay or anything. Yeah. So the tournaments they've been having have been recurring, and they're like having prizes at them. Yeah. So like for the elite, it's like okay, I'm gonna get to the top of the leaderboards. I just want the prize or mm-hmm. try to get to something I can aspire to. For the casual. 
the skin kind of is like achievable. You yeah. play X number of games over the weekend and you can reach it. And the skin's the only thing that the collab even matters in because the skin will have like a, a theme for Yeah, they did like Splatoon. Or OG Tetris was one of them. So you get like a Game Boy looking th uh, yeah. skin. But the cool thing about this one is it's timed with the last Splatfest yeah. for Nintendo's mm -hmm. Splatoon 2, which is like their monthly. Which means you can only do one or the other. No, you can do both. <laughs> you play it right. You play your cards right. <laughs> Check out Jeng's stream for, for that. For that. Um, no, I think, uh, yeah, the, the, my, one of my favorite Tetris is, is Tetris DS. Mm -hmm. And in that one, they have a lot of themed stages. Um, not heavily themed, but like it's enough to like show that like they put an effort to right. like get a Metroid theme going on or get a Mario theme going on for the aesthetic of the level, for the background, for the music, for everything. Um, so it'd be cool if they embrace the full lineup of all the different Nintendo franchises, like in in like weekend specials like this. So you could see like a Donkey Kong weekend, and there'd be like get X number of bananas. How do you get bananas? And there might be like. A, a default way of doing it, but there could be like how we were describing with the with the Zelda one, um, a unique way that if as, if you challenge yourself and you're like let, you said T spin, mm -hmm. if you do T, if let's say like for every T spin you get an extra like ten bananas, right. and it's mm -hmm. like oh shit, like if I can learn how to T spin, then it's incentivizing me to I can still get there without doing it, but if I learn the T spin, it's incentivizing me to drown in bananas. Yeah. Banana time. So I think that'd be cool, like tying that to teaching. Yeah. Um, or uh, um, rewarding, you know, complex uh, tactics mm -hmm. while still not shutting out the entry level, the casual player. Yeah. Of like just playing will reward you, but it'll take longer. Um, I think that'd be cool. Um, and then we're talking like Tetris 99 mainly? Yeah, specifically. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if we're going like Tetris, because they're doing the phone game. Yeah. Um, which is supposed to be another Battle Royale, but that's not with Nintendo. That's like yeah. the company, the Tetris brand with, you know, another collaboration. But and I didn't know the if we, concept you, of that phone one, too, is also supposed to be like a Battle Royale or Tetris 99 type game. Yeah, I'm curious how that'll go. They're but, dropping the Battle Royale na like word yeah, on this it. game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm wondering if it's going to be in a different way. Like squat, like you play as a group, or I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. You know, it's it's not like, a fighting game, though. But so. like, I'm looking at the, on the video thing. We got Street Puzzle Fighter and Mr. And Driller. We're Drifter. talking about fighting games. Yeah, mm. that'd be a way of like mixing in. Let's say like, I don't know if they would do Smash uh, Street Fighter, but maybe with Smash Brother characters, yeah. it'd be like Puzzle Fighter Tetris, <laughs> but then the Smash characters. So before I talk about the collaborations that I think would be cool, uh, I do want to talk about like features they can implement to like, you know, keep the, the game spiced up for people. So I was thinking like Street Fighter, you know, is obviously a good collab. So you would do like a tournament type deal again, um, where if the win or like doing the same thing they do, where if you get enough points by just playing the, the during that time, that exclusive time, you'll get that special skin. So what they're doing now. What they're doing now, yeah. So I, I think a, a cool skin that they could do was is the the thing. But then what thing? <laughs> sorry. To do the um, the that collaboration. So I'm I'm With choosing Street Street, I'm just using Street Fighter as an example. Oh, okay. Um, and so, any skin collaboration. Right. And then so but during that tournament, not okay. only are you getting the skin, they also implement things regarding Street Fighter. So instead of having like a plain background, you can have like the like little scenes going on of like sure. certain fights, you know, epic fights maybe okay. of, of two characters um, have, you know, the background noise is, you know, Street Fighter yeah. in like the tone of like Tetris. So it keeps the because I understand from my understanding is sound is very important because it keeps that beat with you and the yeah. flow kind of makes you go with that flow. So you want to keep that same flow with it. But it's obviously a Street Fighter song that's going with that flow to keep you and like maybe they have like a, a list of them so it's not just one song like over Giles and over, and over. Theme, exactly theme. so like every time you play it'll randomize a song okay or if in a, maybe associates so if you're doing like you know guile's theme it's guy on the background fighting random other people you know okay. like all the whole time while you're playing and then it could have like moments like if you do like a, a t-spin it'll do like you know, catchphrases, my fight money or something like that. Like, you know, like I would like it where it's like if you clear one line, you're just doing a kick or a punch yeah. or like he would they would do a kick or punch. Yeah. If you do two, it will he'll do like a sonic boom. And yeah. if you do like a Tetris, he'll do like a, a, a flash a super, kick yeah. in, in a sonic boom or something. And then if you do back to back Tetris, he like combos them up or something. <laughs> 
So yeah, whoever the like characters that. are, and then you just hear like the words. So like if you're, I guess maybe you can even pick characters like as a theme that you're playing. So if you do re- Ryu, yeah, you know it'll like if you do clear a line, he does. You can hear him do like the sound when he does a punch. You know, if you do clear two, you just hear him go Hadouken or that's something like that or Shuriken. The only thing I'm like, that's a lot of resources put into just for something for a weekend. Yeah. So. But I don't care about resources. Okay. So, you know, this is just, this is my, my fantasy world. This is the perfect world live, right now. Live your dream. This is simulation, you know, like we're living in it right now, so it's possible. So did you have more on that? or were you were uh, gonna... So those are implementations. So we're okay. talking about sound. We're talking about uh, song-wise, sounds that happen while you're, you know, either clearing lines or doing special moves. Um, and then... And then background. So we're talking about like you know things happening in the background that are images in accordance to whatever collaboration they're doing, yeah. um, kind of thing. And then for me, the collabs, dude. Like you could do um, Monster Hunter would be a really cool one for me. Um, we can have. So with the sound thing, I was thinking of. I can't think of the game right now, but there are games where like it'll show like it visually. It'll go like awesome, cool, like. As yeah. you're doing certain things. And I think, like, as you're killing, like, you know, if you do two lines, it's, like, great. And if, you know, like. So tasty. Exactly. Is that, like, it, you know. Cry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff like that. So, like, when you do a certain combo, it just does, like, fantastic combo breaker. You know, like. That'd be cool. So, <laughs> so as you're doing these things, it just has these sounds coming off like yeah. that. The, um, the Puyo Puyo Tetris version, if you pick a certain character, it can get annoying because there's only <laughs> so few phrases yeah. they give them, but like they have phrases where it's like, oh no, <laughs> once again, I'm gonna get you, Tetra. Once again. Like it's like a very consenting girl. <laughs> oh, and then there's mom. another one where all, it's like a Pikachu. Yeah. And he's like, pee, pee, pee. <laughs> and then another guy's like, clear one line, pee, clear two lines, pee, pee. <laughs> and then there's another one where it's like a scientist dog who's like, for science. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's so few that it just it's monotonous. I would I hope it's more like what yeah. you're saying where it's like a variety. Yeah, I like would, a DDR. I would imagine like they take the list of mm-hmm. phrases from like a DDR game. Yeah, so I think it'll be really cool. So when you're doing that stuff, yeah. um, and I can't think of a game though that like I could choose like every single phrase in that game. So like DDR, I guess would be one. So like a DDR themed one. So it's just neon or neon lights or some Fuck. shit. <laughs> Uh, so you got Monster Hunter. We had um, Street, Street Fighter, um, and then I, I like games that Nintendo is picking up recently. Um, so Hollow Arms. Knight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucking Knack Two. I mentioned Arm because it's sort of like Splatoon, where it's like a Nintendo branded yeah, yeah. one versus like yeah Hollow Knight. That's like another company, a third party. Yeah, but so, Hollow Knight would be cool. Resident Evil. Yeah, I yeah. mean Capcom like. The, 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 they just feed the it Capcom. Does, it does gunshots every time you clear your line. <laughs> Bayonetta. Ooh. I could see that one. I mean, you mentioned Devil May Cry, so I was like, oh, Bayonetta <laughs> com- comes to mind. We got. We can do fucking... Uh, no more heroes. Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm completely blanking. Uh, s- s- I want to say Street Fighter, Super Sonic, Smash Bros. I said mm. Smash Bros. Oh, I didn't hear you. Yeah, when the puzzle fighter, but oh. instead of Street Fighter, I was just like gonna say I was oh, saying you gotcha, smash with gotcha. it. Um, and then shoot, there was one more, and I just completely lost it now. Damn it, I lost. It. I would just say every exist like Animal Crossing, Star Fox, Donkey Kong, like all Nintendo, Pikmin. Pikmin would be great because you could make the uh, Olimar be like in the the menu area or in the side, and the Pikmin are the pieces. Oh yeah. And he's just like commanding them to go a certain way. I think that would be a cool club. Um, elite beat agent to get the music going in. <laughs> Bring that back. Spy hunter. No. <laughs> no, but like, so we can keep it simple where it's just the skin. So I feel like they could kind of toss a bunch of collaborations. Well, if we're, if we're adding to Tetris 99, I don't know how much more you can add to Tetris 99. Like... If we're talking about Tetris as the as a whole concept, yeah. that's a, I would be like that's a new game, mm-hmm. and I don't know what, like how, like what that would be like more thinking of another way Tetris could approach things. And I mean, after seeing recently, Donkey did like a Tetris video, and he showed all the the variations of Tetris in the existence of time. Like, fuck, there's some bad ones out there. Like, <laughs> they've tried a lot of shit. Like, what about Sextris? <laughs> that was so spicy. Oh my god! Some, there was the 3D ones on the N64 where it's just like a sphere. Yeah. I'm like, 
I think I played those too. Yeah, I play, I ran into that game a lot. <laughs> Still, yeah. I would add two things. Squads. Three man squads. That would spice it <laughs> up. Three? That would spice Why three? It, because it's 99 and it divisible. Like, oh, okay. So, so you, you couldn't instead of do, adding the, making the pool duos. bigger, you're yeah. saying make, okay, okay. It's, duos would be impossible. And okay. I would add kill death emotes. So if I kill someone, there'd be an animation, like maybe a... a Your me character? Yeah, yeah, or like dabbing. Like, I would add, like, <laughs> I would add stuff to it. So, I mean, this is going into a different time what? at this point. Team what is, oh, the what? dabbing, the, the end Pop game, like, after celebrations. A, a taste of <laughs> another topic we're going to have. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think Mario, I mean, I don't know if that one had a post-game thing, but Mario Kart 8... Before a match starts and after a match ends, you could be like, I use tilt controls. Good game, everybody. <laughs> like these preset, like you can shoot. You and can I rotate. feel like the, the biggest thing is you win first place. I use tilt controls. I use tilt controls. But like that could be something as a basis of this to control it without going too far. Yeah. His voice <laughs> chat would be dangerous. Just use the phone. The app, you know? <laughs> Do you not have phones, dude? Was that your first one or the second? You said you had two things you would add. Oh, squads in. Oh, and the emo. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Animation. Yeah, squad thing would be fun. Just so I could be like, oh, me and a friend are local co-op instead of like, I'm gonna try and now you try. Like that is fun, but I think like even just opening up to another person. A third one. Oh, yeah. one more thing. Kill cam. <laughs> I want to like. I'm oh, gonna, like, when you die, how me, I could see how he plays. Oh. Like, or something. Like, kill. Yeah, I want to see the guy that killed. Like Fortnite does it. Like. Yeah. yeah. See how he plays. Like, oh, I could spectate him. Okay. And then it would have that eyeball, and you could see how many people were spectating you after you <laughs> killed 10 people. <laughs> I think it also would be cool. It's a small feature, but along the lines of what you're saying, would be once I die in a given match, I, I want to spectate that match. And I want to just yes. switch between screens. I'm like, that's cool. Um, let me, like, it'd be a small thing, but it'd be a fun thing. Because then I could be like, who's top? Who's got the most badges right now? I want to see how they're playing. Mm -hmm. Or. Or, if not that, if that's too difficult, or in combination with, I don't know, save replay. So I could watch the game later. I don't know how much video content that would be. Because you can like go to different people's viewpoints and be like, how was he playing when I beat him or when he beat me? Yeah, when I got this KO, who did I KO? Like, yeah. have a kind of like a Mario Maker level of intricacy to uh, video like replay. I want to add one more thing. Ghost data. I don't know if, how plausible that is. Like, if I know... Tifo or what's that guy that's really good at Tetris? Oh, C. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah, you're that guy. I want to see like if I know his like gamer tag, I can play against some heads up. Download his and ghost. See, yeah, yeah, and then I think that would be cool. I, yeah, it'd be cool if like you could make it public. Like, here's one file of like my ghost data, like what you're saying. But then with your friends, like whoever's on your friends list, you can go into more depth. You can be like, okay, how did their, how were their last three wins? I mm -hmm. want to play their most recent win, like whatever data that it gathers from there. Or you can challenge friends and like you get your best score and be like, here, beat this. Yeah, yeah. That'd and be cool. Send them the ghost Some down. sort of challenging, yeah. like friendly challenge thing. But yeah, the whole, I, <gasps> I don't have faith in that as much no. because Nintendo doesn't do great on mm -hmm. like. You just stuff. touched on something challenges. Well, I don't know how they would monitor. Oh, like daily challenge. Yeah. Oh, like Fortnite does like where it's like three teaspoons in a game. Season like, pass. Yeah. <laughs> in 24 hours, dude, you know, three teaspoons. That could be how they pay for like the Street Fighter, the, so the season pass. I feel like that's something that the phone one's going to have. Because the phone one, I feel like is going to be huge on Microsoft. I don't think that one's going to be good. I, I don't think so. Yeah. Because like there's something about like I've played, there's an official Tetris phone game. Yeah. And, and I play it and it's like to rotate shit and to go fast. Is it called Sextress? <laughs> just make um, moans and you're like, mm. like <laughs> 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 what are you playing I'm playing Tetris mom <laughs> <laughs> volume in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> fucking bluetooth to the speaker out there. like what the fuck is he doing in the restroom <laughs> I'm playing Tetris I'm reading <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> No, um, what was I saying? <laughs> there's just something about like the tactical yeah. like feel, feedback of like a button press, and I don't know if that could capitalize on it. But I feel like partnering with Nintendo and then maybe I mean right now they're it's made it as an its intention I think is in, it's an incentive for the online service. It's like here's this online service that you're getting. You get backup files. 
you get n original Nintendo games and you're getting this game mm -hmm. and it's updated and there's DLC for it. Maybe they offer like you can still play the base game, but you can get a season pass and we're going to offer these more involved collaborations or so, or these new features. There, they said there's going to be more DLC because right now they've added um, bots, they've added um, endless mode. Mm -hmm. um, it could be time challenges. That could be cool, like set difficulty challenge of you know whatever or like set already much so much. Shit. Have you looked at like the highest score for endless mode? I don't know if I can see leaderboards for that or not. Well, I'm just like online, like someone just oh, posting no. it, like, "Hey, I." I don't think got, people are. The, the, I've got one trillion. Beat that, you know, and then and he's I like, "I got one trillion one, and it, and it crashed the game because it doesn't go higher than that, you know, <laughs> numerically." Right? I've already assumed whoever's <laughs> really good at the game has reached whatever cap it has because I've seen those people. I'm like. There is no cap for you. <laughs> the, the game may set one. It is, it is not there. For, it is there for you. Like, yeah, I could have kept going. <laughs> it's insane. Like, it, they operate on another level. So, yeah, I, I think you guys had some good ones. Um, I mean, my biggest thing for for Tetris 99 specifically, something that they can implement today is just sound. Like, mm -hmm. different music. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah. They've, they've had the system now where it's like, because of the whole DLC thing, you can go through and be like, here's my emoticon, here's the soundtrack I want to listen to, oh, and okay. it's certain bass tracks, yeah. but I'm like, you've opened the door to more soundtracks yeah. and just, yeah, populate that shit. Yeah. So I think that's a huge one. I mean, like, just, obviously, it's got to match the rhythm, sure. and then, other than that... Or have a good pace to it. Maybe they're... Because they're, they're, the Tetris 99 themes are a little bit more faster-paced mm -hmm. than typical Tetris, mm -hmm. and they pick up the pace at, like, 50, so there's, like, a cadence to them. Yeah. Cadence of Tetris. Mm. Tetris blocks are just moving like. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway um, but yeah, maybe they could adopt or adapt the songs to have that similar mm -hmm. cadence. But. Cool. That's all I got. All right. My topic. I saw this post, uh, Resetera. Biggest gaming turnoffs. Ooh. And this is not, this isn't like out of game. I'm talking more like you see this in a, inside of, in a video game as a mechanic or a trope or whatever. And you're like, oh, fuck, I don't, like, this isn't enjoyable. Like, what, what is it? Damn, I have one that's like how a person reacts. Okay, go for it. Let's, I'm curious what it is. Just when someone doesn't give a fair handshake to a game, they're like, I don't, I don't like this game. Like, they don't give it a good, maybe t oh, two hours. Oh, an honest try. Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, to play like five times. Oh, I don't like this game. Okay. Right, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't like this game. Either. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. It's hard because it's like you want to, you're like, well, that's if it didn't jive, it didn't jive. Mm -hmm. But it's like, did you give it a real try? Right. Because like, right. yeah. Yeah. Well, there's, there's a time where you're like, oh, this game is amazing. Like I've, I know I've recommended you guys, but I've recommended Nier Automata mm -hmm. to uh, others and they're like, I, I saw it <laughs> and does not. Nah. I'm like, I, it's like, I know, but it. like, <laughs> Did you see the gameplay? Like, no, I just looked at the like the cinematic. I'm like, you didn't even like broach it. Like, I don't know. I'm like, maybe you're not in the mood to try anything new right now. <laughs> it's in my <laughs> to playlist <laughs> next ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, and just to make sure you're answering the question, we're talking about like turnoffs in like for games, like something that I, like caused me not to want to play that game. Yes. So okay. I can give you an example of what I have. Well, my my biggest thing is like, and it's it's happened like. A game being too expansive, too uh, much. Yeah, too, too much. And it's Grand Theft Auto for me. Like I enjoy playing it. Like you know, obviously when you first get in, you're like, "Holy, this is so big!" And then like as you're playing, you realize like how long it actually takes you to go to one spot to another, and how often you have to do this. The thing, the thing for me with that, and I, I share your sentiment in that, is is not so much the expansiveness, but the aimlessness. Like I, I see a game like that and Minecraft, and I'm like. <laughs> Why, what am I working towards? Yeah. And I, if it's up to me, then I'm like, I don't know. Like, I could see the appeal of this, but it's not what yeah. I want. I and want at least some objective. Like, a oh, wow, or mm -hmm. those, there's at least daily or weekly or monthly, like, things I'm working towards. Yeah. This is just like, I'm just, it's a playground. And that's a, that's a great thing to do. Like, at least with these expensive games, is yeah. add, like, a daily challenge type of thing. So, yeah. like, not only am I, am I, if I keep playing this game, I will obviously take a big chunk of it, but I'm chipping it away smallly by, or little by doing these challenges that, like, obviously lead me to an end goal. And I, I, I don't see it that way because yeah. I'm just doing these small things every day. 
Um, but yeah, like same thing with Minecraft. Like I will set myself small goals. I'll be like, you know what? I'm build a house. I build a house, you know, <laughs> but I'm not going to set my, uh, you know, a goal of like, let me make a town. Let me build a castle. Like that's just, I will build like one tower and be like, you know what? That's, you know, the, just the limit of my <laughs> imagination. I'm tired. That's of. That's why I like games like Dragon Quest Builder. Cause I'm like, okay, you're giving me the, 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 the mechanics of a I Minecraft, need direction, but now you're giving me a purpose. Mm -hmm. And within that, I have some agency to do my own thing. But yeah. like, I know I'm working. It's like the RPG elements that mm -hmm. you're like, you're giving me that, that uh, dopamine kick that I need of like, ah, I've, I've completed something on my objective list. What's funny too, is at a younger age, I don't think this would have been an issue, but I think now that I'm older and like, you know, you, you you have a full-time job you get back home and you're like you're so exhausted you don't even have the imagination to do something yourself like i'd rather just be told like hey you know go here's a mission do this like and i'd rather just do that mindlessly <laughs> than than just imagine like me having to do that in the first place yeah i i think it's a give and take like mario maker i know I'm not going to be like if it was only built on the premise of me building stages and there was nothing else. I'm like, I have to be in the mood for that. Yeah. Like, I'm not always ready for that little big plan. How does summer thing? But something that's cool about it is like they've curated a list of levels that they've made. And then there's levels that others are making. And I can pl I can choose to just be a consumer. Mm -hmm. Or I can choose to be a back and forth, or I can, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's the option. I feel like some of these games don't provide the option. It's yeah. just like, here's the world, make it what you mm -hmm. want. And I'm like, that's cool. And I see potential there, but yeah, like like you're saying, like I need something to like eat both another both ways. Mm -hmm. um, one for me was uh, escort missions. <sighs> that's I, one of my. I fucking hate them. <clears throat> I think it's not a problem with escort missions. It's a problem with AI. There is some AI that's really good, like Last of Us, like recently, and sure. God of War, but old it's school just, games. It's an anxiety, though, that I just get, regardless of, I, I, maybe the old ones have conditioned me, but even with the, the Last of Us and the God of Wars, which are doing it better, like <coughs> you said, I just have this constant, like, paranoia, like, that's going to fuck me up. Like, something out of my control is just going to like take out something else that's out of my control yeah. and I have no agency over how to do that. Mm -hmm. Like Leon. That's Leon. Weird. Yeah, Resident Evil 4. <laughs> but like, yeah, when you think about a lot of the old AI, they're like janky and like if they don't follow the thing, they're like not cooperating. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is this a cool joke the designers had on me? I don't know. Like it just never I never saw the appeal of it. I never saw what it was trying to teach me it was maybe if it was trying to teach me the flaw of their ai if, or some of the the panicky moments but. i can't think of a good escort mission in a video game i can't think of one <laughs> Not a wait there is one time it was okay yoshi's island okay it's probably the closest i've ever gotten to being like Escort missions okay, but even then, they made you regret ever losing Mario. The sound he makes is like, yeah. they're like, what could be the most annoying? It's like that Jim Carrey Dumb and Dumber, like, <laughs> <laughs> like they make you like not want it. But like it was, it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. It worked. That was the closest yeah. one. But what's funny is like, I mean, two of MMOs that I've that I've played, um, World of Warcraft. When they do escort missions, it's usually automated. So, like, essentially, like, the character was walking as slow as they fucking possibly can to the destination they're supposed to. And you're just like, even if you if you just hold the walk button, you will move faster than this person. So you can't even automatically be like, you know, let me just move. Pushing you have to, like, move, let go of your move button. Move, let go. You know, go to the bathroom. Exactly. Like, move. I wish I could just, like, kind of, like, just have the automated. If I just need to walk... I, I match their pace. Like, just have that at least, you know? But so that's the issue with that one. Like, other than that, it's not a big deal. It's just that. And then there's Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, their missions, you, most escort missions is the person is completely still, and you have to do, like, uh, an emote to make them. So you have to do beckon. So you literally, like, walk... To, like you have to, there, you'll eventually when you're playing it, you learn the max distance. So you walk the max distance, you beckon them, they walk up to where you're at, and then you have to walk the max distance. You have to beckon them again, and then and like the distances are are like I feel like they're they're just a tad bit too long, you know? Like just make it a little bit shorter because I gotta call this motherfucker every time over and over and over. 
So yeah, That's like horrible. those those two don't do. A good I don't job. understand what that adds. <laughs> Like, was, is there a quota of, like, we need to include X number of certain missions, or are they just trying to fill? So, at least with the World of Warcraft, uh, some of them make sense, because you're, like, you you need to move to a new location, you know, and so you're moving your base from somewhere to another, and it, it makes sense. This person doesn't know how to fight, so you're protecting them or whatever, but it's still, like, it's almost unnecessary. You can just do a cinematic. You can do this other thing, like... Why do you got to make it so hard on me? Like, just make it like an automatic mission where it's like, yeah. here, meet me over here. This dude could just ignore every walk on yeah. the road that doesn't have monsters on it, dude. Come on. But yeah, it's got to be so much trouble, dude. Let's just check. Unfair difficulty. Like, I don't care if difficulty is hard, but when it's like really cheap, Ninja Gaiden 2, I just, it's just a turn off for me. Like, I just, like, why make it so fucking... Like, yeah, there's a difference between a difficulty that could be learned, overcome, you know, approached at a different adapt, adapt. <laughs> overcome. <laughs> or and then there's a difficulty where you're like, I remember your Uncharted runs where you were literally like spawning and hoping a bullet didn't hit oh, you, yeah, so you yeah, just so you yeah. could get to a cover. I was like, there's not even like he. It's not like says it doesn't say anything about a thing. It's just like chance. Yeah, just pray this is the run. I don't know. That's another thing. RNG is like that affects like too much gameplay. Yeah, dude, it affects like you fucking may having an easy time in the game. I hate that. Yeah, the the biggest thing is you brought up Uncharted. Like I remember I was doing, I don't know if it was number one. You get on like at the very end, you get on the on this boat, and there's a seat. There's a there's always like a cutscene where like this things falling and you slide out of the way, and it's a cutscene for you sliding out of the way. And as soon as you start the next scene. It's people already shooting at you. And if you're paying on the hardest difficulty, you die with one to two hits. It, yeah. One shot, depending on where it hits you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you start out out of cover. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, there's no way this is going to be that bad. You know, and, and I've watched people <laughs> playing it, and I'm like, there's no way. So when I get to it, sure enough, like, it starts dead, immediately dead. I didn't even, like, I was holding the move button. My character did not move. He just died. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> this is what it's like. This is cool. And literally, like, it took me, like, the first f six attempts, I died immediately. And then finally, you get on a cover. You're like, okay, how do I, like, you, you can't, you have to move to the next cover. You have to, like, kill these guys. And if you look up for a second, you're dead. And it's just like, this is extremely idiotic. And no each of the too. Uncharted has a section like that. <laughs> Yeah, fuck? and it's. I'm yeah. looking forward to your Uncharted Four run. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> coming <Hey>. next year, <laughs> 2020. Soon, 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 soon. soon. <laughs> no, you say, uh, you know, you, you say like end of or holiday 2019, <laughs> and then you postpone it right. to 2019. March, yeah. yep. 2020. <laughs> Joe. Um, so you brought up the uh, the escort missions. So mine is pretty much like gathering missions. And this, fuck, uh, this that's what I was gonna say. My first WoW experience <laughs> was collect fifteen acorns, and I was like, "What? Okay." All in the hold thirty second load to pick up an acorn. I'm like, I'm a fucking minotaur. <laughs> I, I take thirty seconds to pick up an acorn. <laughs> This game, what? <laughs> yeah, there's ones where it's like you have to kill certain mobs that drop this item, but then they make it like a really low rate. So you have to kill at least 10 mobs before you see one of these drops. And you're like, wait a minute, how many, have to, how many do I have to pick up? And you're like, go to the, your little, you know, quest. And it's like one out of 25. Are you fucking kidding me right um, now? Did you ever get the exotic sword in Destiny 1? Um, the, there was the three. There was, a, there was a oh, void yeah. one, a, I did. a solar one. Yes. There was the farming of the material. Yeah. Fuck that. I was like, I got one. I'm never getting another. See, the thing is, I mean, my time with Destiny 1 is everything I did was super enjoyable. So even the farming for me, at least in that moment. The, but I mean, enjoyable. of all the of, all of the grind, that was the most similar to what you're explaining. Yeah. Of yeah. like, I'm spending all this time it's just, and I had It's exaggerated. Percent. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's exaggerated for no fucking reason. It's like fluff content. Yeah. Um, which leads me to mine, I guess, is is unnecessary, like, repetitive, like, repetition for the sake of repetition. Like, I recently watched uh, Girlfriend Reviews do her Doom video, mm -hmm. and she hit it on the point. She's like, this game is no longer than it needs to be. There's no s extra mission. There's no side this. There's no, oh, you got to do another 15. F it's like filler episodes yeah. equivalent for a video game. 
I hate when games just like have filler for the sake of filler. Yeah. Now, if it's a loot game, there's there's an there's a reason to have the loot and there's the grind and that's that's the content. Mm -hmm. It's not filler. Um, but when there's like, I don't know, X, X and Y game RPGs more often than not, there's like ten or fifteen like these missions. I'm like, why? This this didn't further a story character. This didn't like add more depth to it. This is just me doing an a, an escort mission or collecting a thing yeah. or. Hey, this is a tutorial snuck in as a mechanic. I'm like, no, you're. I feel like that's you're just. It's like a wait a waste of time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Adam, at our age where we're like, okay, I'm playing games. Granted, we're playing for long periods of time, but I'm playing games that I want to play yeah. for things that I want to do. I don't want to waste it doing those stupid mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of want to touch on the RNG thing. Destiny is constantly where I'm seeing it like being attempted in different ways. Monster Hunter is another place, but. Destiny has been tweaking it in ways I haven't seen before. So, like, there used to be the case where it's just, like, you know, bosses. There's a ch there's a random chance of a special drop or a rare drop or something. Then it, they were like, that's too random. We're going to add some um, parameters around that to yeah. help. So then they make it they made it super structured. So it's like there's no even chance of a random encounter of this. this the only way to get this is through quests. Yeah. So now I'm guaranteed to get it, but I have to finish these quests. But then, then the, you have to wait for that quest to come up. The quest might not come up, or or it might be based on an enemy showing up that rarely shows up, and I'm like, I can't even... Like the Whisper quest, you had to wait for a certain public event to start to begin the quest. And it was and, only during the week. And it was only during that week, and it was only... Oh, no, weekend. Weekend. And then it was only in a certain section, and if it was had to be... And it's like, there's too much RNG in the wrong place in those. And then now, like I'll give you an example of good RNG, is they have this item, it's a chalice, you upgrade this chalice, and it, for every upgrade, you can control a factor of RNG of uh, an item you're trying to get. So if I, in, in, there's a loot pool of like X number of guns, snipers, handguns, shotguns. I can decide which gun I'm going to get. So like I want a sniper rifle. Yeah. So it's no longer like keep doing this until you get the gun you want yeah. and you get it with the perks you want. Now it's I'm only get I know well, I'm going in. I know I'm going to get a hand cannon. Now, if I now the grind becomes I want the hand cannon with this specific role. So the more I upgrade this chalice, the more I can limit the pool of things that it's going to mm. pull from. I'm like, I feel like you're giving me the structure I need and you're providing a, a randomness that's like reasonable. Can There's that balance of reasonable and like too much. Can you also choose like um, element? The no, weapons in no, it doesn't. They don't do that one. Okay, but you know what it'll be. So I can be like, I don't want the void one. I'm gonna go for the sniper because that's an arc one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes with the weapon type. Oh, but, gotcha, gotcha. But. Um, you, there's still enough to control, but also now I can just be like, if I want a hand cannon, I'm going to farm this just for hand cannons, and I can do however many I want, but yeah. I know I'm going to get a hand cannon. Um, before it was like, well, fuck, there's like RNG on RNG on RNG, and it's senseless. I just kind of want to touch on that real quick. You get an arm instead of an arm weapon. Did you have any more? I love Bloodborne. I love Sekiro. I love Dark Souls, but... The number one enemy in that game is the camera. Mm. Oh. The camera kills you sometimes. Man. Fucking camera, man. So camera angles mm. need to be good, man. The, I mean, those games are good, but sometimes the camera just gets in a weird janky angle when you're target locked on and you get killed because of it. Do you think... I, I'm probably already know the answer to this. Do you think a game like that could be serviced with a fixed camera angle? Mm. Or no? Because it's, it's third person. It's behind the shoulder... It's possible. You would it would change the gameplay, <laughs> for sure. It's possible. Okay. You would have to change some things. I forgot. Did Nier Automata have fixed? No. No. I'm I pretty sure not. You can control like where you're looking. I don't know if it was fixed to where it was always behind you. Yeah. No, no, because you could look like no. It was was not fixed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm thinking like. Pokemon, like certain games, like a Pokemon game or a top-down, like a 2D game, the fixed angle has been such a thing of like that's the style. That's they control so much as a result of yeah. it, so they can control how you, what you're seeing, what how you're seeing it. But now with the latest Pokemon, they're like we're per, we're for once going to allow you camera control, and it's like for many games, you're like fucking this is like an old thing. Like <laughs> Wait, games of who Sword and Shield, Pokemon oh, Sword and Shield, they're allowing you to control yeah, the camera. Yeah, because it's always been one. fixed in one direction. Right. 
So which they can hide a lot of like bad details. But what I'm saying is, they're literally like they don't change much. But when they change it, it they're like, look at what that one thing allows for, doesn't allow for, whatever. It's it's like an, a focused examination of like what you're saying. Uh, just to add on to that one, um, I, I always felt like camera angles were kind of a thing of, of its time, like depending on like the area that a game was made. So I was, I've been playing, or I haven't been playing, I, I played for a while um, uh, Beyond Good and Evil, the original. Um, the camera angle is shit in that game. But I think it's also because I'm, I'm now playing in an HD monitor, you know, like on a computer, like I, like the graphics, you know, obviously they still look bad, but they, they're really clear. And you're like, you feel like I could, the, it, it could be better, but that's only because I'm seeing more of this picture at this point because this is a widescreen, you know? But back then it was, it would have been on a console that was analog to like a, you know, a small screen or whatever. So that picture would have looked the way it, it belonged on that picture. And it, it would have just felt, I feel like it would have felt right because I, I, as a kid, I don't feel like I ever had too many issues mm. with cameras. Like, I, I mean, I specifically like, uh, Sorry, are you saying like, similar to what Jang was saying about the fix? Yeah, I'm just ex adding to his. Like, okay. I just, I feel like as time went on, yeah. it wasn't a big deal. But now that, like, we're in that era where, like, it's just, there's so much that we can do. Yeah, yeah. And camera angles now can be the issue. Well, with, what's crazy is, like, you see some games, like, was it Resident Evil 1 or 2? Mm hmm. Both. Both of them? I think three as well. <laughs> they had the fix one, right? Well, they have like weird, bad camera angles, but it's for the horror element. Yeah. But it was fixed, right? So yeah. You couldn't mess with them. Yeah, you and walk it in was a certain the, hall it, and all of a sudden yeah, your camera's like, like in front then, of you. And then it's like top down. You're just like, <laughs> and then it's like to your face. And every <laughs> time you have to change the joystick, like if you're walking forward, it's just all like, of a sudden not you forward. Let go, you, you're holding so forward and you start running like the other direction. <laughs> you're just like, what the fuck? But like their intent, was it for, for like a cinematic mm -hmm. quality? It's for horror. Yeah, you know, it's oh. just, just create this weird Hell. atmosphere. Like, because what 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 can happen is you can walk down one hall, and obviously they'll do like the hole behind you, and then once you get further into the wall, it changes the camera angle. So now they can have a monster mm -hmm. in front of you without you knowing. And so when you walk into it, it just jumps, and you're like, oh yeah. fuck, I didn't realize yeah. it was there because you can't see it there. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to change the angle, you're like, there's <clears> this <throat> random ass monster just waiting for me right there. Like this is dumb. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. So that's, and I, I think a lot of times camera angles were used to hide like these moments, you know, okay. like, like without having to Limit, have them, the, yeah. without using the limitations, mm -hmm. so, yeah. without having used the game's limitations on graphics and stuff like that. But yeah, like, I mean, uh, well, I guess another thing that I hate is, I don't know what I hate. I'm trying to think of, <laughs> I, there's no set amount. I'm just, um, this is a venting period. Yeah. This is for like current generation of games. Is like when you buy a game, you have to download twenty gigs into your hard drive. Like, why can't you just put make two discs? Don't like like right now. The most recent. Well, thing how would is, the two disc thing work? I don't know for the installation or just for. I the, have no idea. Just okay. don't make it downloadable. You should be able to hold all the game into one disc. If you're doing, if you're buying the physical copy, right. yeah, have it. Don't. Be. That's why I always like. I don't know. I feel like cartridges have like the DS and the and the Switch. I don't think they've had that issue. They, they haven't, but also because those games aren't like data hungry compared sure. to what, you know, obviously a PS4 and all that can sure. do. But yeah, like the most recent thing that, that was announced is uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is if you get the disc version, you will still have to download th or like 39 <sighs> gigs worth of information. I'm not sure if that's downloading off the Internet or if that's. You like you're off the disc, off you're gonna the install disc. like forty gigs I think it's or something. But it'll probably be a day one patch. Yeah, you're probably it's probably gonna have an extra patch, you know, like for extra content or extra uh, um, data that you have to download just for the game itself, which is insane. Like that's that's a lot. That's you know, the, right. like if people are still using like their just their standard <laughs> hard drive that came with their their thing, they gotta get rid of everything, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's just it's funny. There's a lot, but yeah, I I agree with them. Data, dude, just that's gonna get put under control. We gotta get like a red ray, Blu-ray. Oh, ray. <laughs> I don't know. I I know that the color of the disc and the color of the laser. You think there will be another disc format? I I think there will be yeah for an expansion. Because from my understanding is the reason we went to Blu-ray is because Blu-ray can hold more, more. data. 
that light it can is is a faster reader and then the the actual disk itself can hold more data so i think if that correlates to color we're gonna we probably already know of a color that can hold more and obviously just implementing it is a lot more costly but i think it'll happen eventually maybe we'll get yellow discs possibly yellow ray we'll see i always feel like with the, with that sort of stuff i'm like where does porn go <laughs> who, who does porn be like You've been chosen. <laughs> and then I'm like, that's the new medium because they control so much. Um, <laughs> one of the things for me is unskippable things yes, in games. Yes, like, yes. Fun I always want the choice to be able to not have to sit here and watch whatever. Final Fantasy got. 8 summons. I feel like there's an argument there, though, for that, too. There isn't, though. Like, no, what's your argument? If, well, if you're doing your first playthrough, yeah, then don't. Not skippable. No, yes. but give me the choice. First playthrough, not skippable. And then the second playthrough, you just skip everything you want. But if you give me the choice, then... But what if you accidentally skip? Like, it's bad for... Because I gave you the choice. Bad for speedrunners. No, no. Um, we're at GDQ. Oh, okay. We got to wait. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't no, know. I, I hate <laughs> not being able to skip. Passion. Yeah. Cutscenes and Final Fantasy VIII summons. Imagine this. <laughs> Your first time playing through some, you get through a cutscene... It took you like fucking 15 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, however long the cutscene is. You've seen it. And then you're in Uncharted and you die. Oh. And then you're like, fuck, I can't, I gotta watch that 15 minute cutscene again. Well, okay, so that's where I. That's, that's where my complaints come from is this, like, I have to do this again because of the save point being either before. Like, you know, a lot of times with boss battles, like I take a Resident Evil or something. There's a save point before, and then you go in and cutscene, yeah. all this yeah, shit. So and I'm like, all right, I died. Let me just get back in there. Like, I'm sick of this shit. Yeah. Yes. Like, that's... Some games don't offer so that. So, like, my, my, ideo my ideology is to have the unskippable cutscene the very first time. But if, if like, the game forces you to be like, there's a, there was a save before that, and if you die, you have to go through that whole moment again. Because the game's registered that you've gone to the cutscene, now you can skip it. Now you can just hit, like, X and it's like, did you want to skip? Yes, I Here's did. Here's my uh, take on it satisfy both of you guys you can skip it but it shows the guy that works on it worked on it like, <laughs> just sad and just walk, just walk away. It shows him like i put 40 hours no into this. i want like like a mortal Kombat style like so still like a <laughs> just super sad. i don't know what game does it where like it's like you know you you do something and it's like are you sure and it's like, yeah, are like, and then uh, you're like really, really sure though. It's like, yeah. And he's like, dude, you're like going to screw this guy that worked like 10 hours on this. Are, are you sure? <laughs> yes. And he's like, all right, you're a dick. Do you still want to? Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> I don't know anything that's gone that far. <laughs> what I hate though, this, I'm adding another one is when whatever the menu has of like, yes and no, and you're doing the, are you sure part, it flips it. <laughs> And I'm like trying to just press A A like over and over. I'm like, no fuck. And it's like, you <laughs> totally want to listen to this file. again? Do you want to listen to this again? No. Yes. Fuck. And then I have to listen. To it. It's that always happens with the owl in, yeah. in Zelda games. So do you think that like I games that. should have it set to where no is always their first option? For me, this is how I always think about it with PlayStation or mostly. Skip. Circle is always no. Yeah. Or back. So even if it's selected on yes and you hit circle, circle, no. it'll it'll go to no and cancel. It the, just says no. Yeah. It's just like no. I hate. <laughs> I agree with you. I think like the buttons should have like if I'm hitting X, that's always to accept. If I'm hitting circle, it's always the obviously that's with. So if I'm hitting A with Xbox and I'm hitting B, it's always decline. I think your idea though would be good for the cutscene. <laughs> every time it just shows them like it gets more and more sadder. Like. It's just, every every developer that worked on that on a cutscene should have like a rotation of like four or five faces. And it's, it's like him disappointed, and eventually it's him like just in a corner, just crying, weeping. And <laughs> at the very end, we don't need you. You're no longer needed in the company. Like, oh, Imagine the final cutscene. Damn, it's like hey, before we show you this last cutscene. We want you to be aware that you skipped the no, game so many okay. times that this guy now, had to be fired. Now there's an argument of like, <laughs> if a game has mul multiple elements, whether they're side quests or whether they're multiplayer and single player, and people primarily only work on one side, play one aspect of it, I don't think it discredits the people that worked on the others that don't get recognized. 
Well, sure. here's here's one. So, like, I, uh, what's it? Quick, sorry. Uh, there was an interview recently for at E3 CD Projekt Red. Mm-hmm. They were talking about like a, lo- a lot of um, developers wrestled with the frustration of like we put so much time in these like side quests upon side quests, and a lot of people don't play it. Those side quests <laughs> are like, should we even bother? And they're like, no. We like we have to stay true to our vision. Like this is a world, mm-hmm. and yes. what what the merit of it was, and I like this point, like where they came around to it. They're like, if you're playing that game, you choose side quest A, B, C, D, and if you're playing the game and you skip those and you're doing E, F, G, K, Y, Z, and you compare, you're sharing stories of like your experiences in the game. They're totally different, and you're playing the same game. And there's merit to that. And the, I was like, wow, that's pretty crazy. And he's like, yeah. So we're 100 percent for. Not everyone's going to experience everything yeah. in this game. So anyway, Which, was, I, guess, I mean, I, I guess that's where I fall into, like, why I think at least the very first time you see a cutscene, it's not skippable. It's to allow the work that these people did to be seen. But then my experience is different than yours. And you're like, did you see that? I'm like, no, but I didn't. I, I f- it. And I'm like, fuck, I got to go back and play it. I, I was, what I was going to say is that in Final Fantasy XIV, the, the MMO, so there's obviously, like, it, there's group content. There's there's raids, dungeons that you can't just do alone, uh, but there are stuff you can do alone. And anything that you do on your own, you could you could skip if you want. Anything that happens, like, pretty much almost 100% of the game, 99% of the game is almost skippable. But there are, like, there's end game content that, like, is supposed to be, like, raid-type uh, quality. Um, those are not skippable cutscenes. And the reason it does that is because uh, the thing is, when you're doing content like that with a group, if anyone skips, it skips for everyone. Mm. And so the thing is, like, these are specific storyline quests that need to be done. And they're like, there could be someone who wants to watch this cutscene. So now whenever it, it warns you too, when you're doing this type of raid, it's like, please be aware you're doing a raid that has unskippable cutscenes you know because do, of the storyline. It's whatever. like you in do Mon- Monster Hunter where everyone's trying to skip, but Vargas is the guy that's not pressing skip. He's like, I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the right answer because if you're doing group content, it should be like, everyone's got to agree to skip. Yeah. And I if one person doesn't, Vargas. fuck that person. Vargas. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the take <laughs> That first, I've never skipped that first scene <laughs> in, in uh, Monster Hunter Ultimate, where like you're doing the popo mission, get the popo tongues, and then you walk in there. <laughs> Tigris comes attacks you. And I'm like, I'm just there watching the whole time. Mouth agape, dude. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any more? I don't have any more. I hate forced walking. Mm-hmm. Like if I want to run, like if your character can run, let me run anywhere I want. All of a sudden, like Pokemon, except, Pokemon had this where I'm, I'm in a building. I'm like, except when it's story driven, like with Last of Us, when he gets injured. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes like, sense. When it when it makes sense, yeah. But like, let me put on my running shoes. I don't doors. want it to be all of a sudden like, oh, now you're stuck like walking through the caravan, like getting. I'm like, this is taking forever. You can always skip to like your your bicycle, and then when you're indoors, you're just like slowly walking everywhere. That's <laughs> annoying. Not having fast travel. I think like dude, big games should have fast travel. Like found like uh, I, I get like <clears throat> Fallout is the one I always think about. I get the walking to the first time discovering and then I can fast travel yeah. there. That makes sense to me. Destiny's got this thing where the forges, there are these like activities that are match made. And everything else in the game, for the most part, if you're trying to match make into it, it's an auto just like from anywhere you are, yeah. orbit or wherever, you hit okay, matchmaking, begin searching. This one, I have to like get to the Basically planet, get there. ride through this fucking useless Wasteland. path, and I'm like, this is so out of the way. This is so annoying. Just let me fucking load straight into it. Like, yeah. it's the most annoying thing. Or at least let me spawn there, and then I can. Exactly. Like, I mean, same, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I agree. But yeah, the the ideal thing would be just straight from like the the menu is like if you've already gone there, and let me just match make from the menu, you know. I'm reading from the Resetera thread. It's what other people thought. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have anything else on that one. Bad controls. That can when a company it. tries to do classics, but it fails. That's my you know huge turn off. Damn, this is sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just, I don't know how much these guys lost, dude. Like, because they were chilling, it was 85 Bruh, originally, right? They, they didn't lose much. They're like, fucking. 
I, I know they're not. I think it probably costs twenty five million. I'm pretty sure they're not doing make. another. Uh, you know, they're not doing a PlayStation Three player. PlayStation PS Vita classic. classic. They don't. The way they messed up. No, the two the, would do great. Yeah, I bet the game selection is bad. It's That's shit. why. Like, if the I game selection know. was good, I don't know. I Taken, think Raymond, <laughs> Jump and Flash. I've never heard of that game. I think people were smart enough to know it was a cash grab and not like as much. Of a cared, curated list of. If Nintendo made the, made the N sixty four one with really good games, it's gonna sell. One hundred percent. Easy. I mean, it's gonna sell regardless, but it will very much. It will significantly more. It will sell significantly more with like that curated. I'm super surprised they got fucking Final Fantasy seven on this. Why? I just feel like that. It's always really rare to see Final Fantasy seven on like a system. Like it takes a while. It's never like an immediate thing. Now, but when did it get announced? Or when did it come out? 2019, baby. <laughs> 2020. March. <laughs> How old is the game? Running the numbers. How old is the game? <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> So, uh, Dr. Disrespect recently. Uh, what? No. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> recently. <laughs> there have been f- actual fighting at fighting game events, and it's probably due to pop- things called pop-offs, which is celebrations after a match. Um, should gaming tournaments limit pop-offs, penalize pop-offs? Like professional sports, for example, like, you know, in the NBA, you can't celebrate too much. I think, I think pop-offs should be allowed and limited. Um, I know that you're referring to one where like the the guy popped off and got in this guy's face and kept like just kind of repeating the same thing over and over like what now what now, um, and I read like into the backstory of that one like the guy felt like he got disrespected by this guy he had he had said like you know the uh, the lo- the loser would have won against the winner if it was a, a, a best out of three. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, the winner was like, you're disrespecting me. You're saying that I'm a bad player and that if the, 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 you know, the thing was different, I would have lost. And then so th- they had a tournament, like it was the winner of that event versus the guy that, that you know, disrespected him. And the, the winner ended up winning against that guy. And so he was like, what, like, what now? Am I still shit? Like, you know, what now? And he, but he, like, he extended it. Like, he kept staying in this face, just kept screaming, screaming, screaming. Far. Yeah, he went too far. Like, you know, the first pop-up, I, I think it would have been like, like, what now? Like, yeah. that would have been fine That's to it. me. I would have been like, you know what, dude? Respect. Like, you fucking, you, you showed me. Like, you beat me, you know? But that he stayed there and, like, they, like, eventually security, like, had to, you know, separate them. So that, that's why, like, li- like a pop- I would allow it. But again, limiting it. Like if you went that far, I'd be like, dude, you're gonna if you stay there, you're gonna get disqualified. Like you're not gonna Just to put it in context, outside of this event, like local fighting game tournaments, there are always fights. Always fights because of pop offs. So I'm just gonna add that. Because fighting bleeds uh, into the I'm world. I'm guessing that doesn't help those tournaments get like <laughs> elevated more. I feel like there's a correlation here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel like I mean, uh, professional sports, like uh, physical sports, people do dances in football end zones, but within a certain you know limitation, they mm-hmm. do a dance. They don't get in the other person's face. There's code. There's misconduct. There's mm-hmm. bad sportsmanship. Those are penalties. You can get penalized for them. Yeah. I feel like, you know, if no. they want to be treated in a similar fashion of like professional sports, similar rules would then apply. The only sport I could think of where pop offs are bad is fighting like ufc there's always like bad stuff where people go like this in front of them and like yeah. ufc is a mixed bag though ufc yeah, yeah, is yeah. Fu- like they have their share of shit yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah i mean like boxing i would say like people like get in each other's face they have press conferences that you know they say their things <laughs> talk shit yeah <laughs> um but when the when the match comes to close Either they say nothing, mm-hmm. or you know they they they're respectful or something, and or the you know and then they they cheer and stuff. It, it everything within reason, um, but I do think like if someone goes out of out of bat, like excessive or poor or something, there should be a penalty, and I also think like a fine of some sort. Like the whole thing, like a lot of people make their livelihood off these tournaments. If they want to do well, I feel like they should like they should. 
the pet, like the money side of it is a factor, but I feel like the people that do really well will be like, I, I got money. I'll do it anyway. I'll pay, I'll pay the fine. <laughs> which, which would happens in then and it becomes a notoriety. Yeah. And football, like. They'll, they'll take that fine <laughs> to do you know an extended fucking celebration. I think there should be something that like you're think, you're suspended at, I like think what a would, game. What would be or, cool too is like not only will the fine doesn't even go to the event. It like that fine gets transferred to the the loser. Like that so the loser or, or ch- if they're doing it with a charity or I mean, what would hurt, you know what would hurt them because f- you know fines might not hurt the best player fines or and you can't play in the next. That's next what I mean. It's like a, a a ban or a suspension you can't of some play sort. Next year's tournament. handicap half health next ex- next tournament. I, I think that that'll really <laughs> what that'll now? Really teach what you. now? It just <laughs> makes for a bigger pop off. Really teach you. Imagine know, right? still wins half health. <laughs> he's not even gonna pop off. He's just gonna come out slugging. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? Next time is twenty five percent, and then he wins again. It's like murders him. <laughs> no, no, don't murder. Um, no, yeah, I think there. Uh, I, I agree. I think some sort of suspension or something. I, yeah, I mean, the, if they like, it's up to the organizations to enforce. And may have some sort of thing. I feel like that doesn't because we're trying to legitimize esports, right. and that does not help. The pop off, hell no. Yeah, no, yeah, it exactly. Doesn't, doesn't help. Hell no. But it's like it's it's hard when you got it's it's a mixed bag because these organizations are trying to legitimize it, making these tournaments like legit, making them hyped up, making them established, and then you got. A lot of your competitors are young as fuck and like passionate and very passionate and, you know, ten testosterone going wild or, you know, hormones and all that stuff. And it's just like do they got to like they I don't think they go through the regiment. Like I would say like Overwatch, some people like they're going through coaching. They're going through more of that proper and like I don't know if they're fostering that or not. Also, some of these fights happen because some of the contestants were drunk. They should not. Play, I mean, drunk. sometimes some play, people are blaring, blah 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 blah. Sometimes exactly. players are better. Sometimes people podcast drunk. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes people just play a little better when they're you know just uh, motor skills aren't to par. You know. It's, yeah, but that's. I mean, is that allowed in another sport? Oh, well, you can't dope normally. Is that illegal? <laughs> Adderall. <laughs> I heard that's a thing. People take Adderall yeah. to focus. That one torn- Smash player that's like. <laughs> I'm not popping off. I'm focused. <laughs> I'm popping in. Into my What no? What no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah. No, I, I, I agree. D- no, 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 like, they shouldn't be able to, like, drink or anything like that. I um, think that rivalries are healthy. I've seen it all the time at Evo. You see, like, Tokaido and, like, Punk and, and you see, <laughs> um, what's his name? Uh, Sonic Fox and all these other people. There's stuff done, and like sometimes it gets pushed, but then I feel like it's all—it's a balance between those competitors, you know, trying to elevate something, and then the working alongside the organizations in whatever capacity to like, what is the end goal here? Let's elevate this. Just to also make sure though, like, because there's there's the people that'll pop off, but sometimes they're also it's instigated by the other person. You know, like they'll do little ticks. Or little they things. Be penalized. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I was just gonna say like those should also be looked into, and, and those people should also be penalized if they're, they're you know they're yeah any kind of misconduct yeah. like whatever whatever it is bad sportsmanship that's what it is yeah. it's like but stop, I feel like stop being a little bit it's something obviously <laughs> it's something that isn't enforced and I don't feel like the rules are ever set into stone like with this stuff like each tourney will kind of like verbally. Be like, hey, I, just, you know, there. this isn't allowed in this time, you know? But, I, like, next tournament, it's like, oh, it's perfectly fine. So yellow, then it's always unsure. Card? Yeah. <laughs> it's always unsure. So a lot of times when, like, it, let's say when an, an event does say, like, this is restricted, you can't do this, and someone does it, they're like, you know what? They weren't clear. We'll let this slide or whatever. And it's, it's always, like, I don't like, know, like, um, ath- athletic sports, how hard it is to mm-hmm. judge some of that. Because, I mean, you see stuff like people faking things yeah. out. I mean, granted, these people aren't doing like they're not. There's not a ref like not being able to follow these players on this on on the stage or wherever yeah. they're playing. So that's not an issue. But if I feel like if they can handle it in those cases, this is doable. So new to you, yeah. <laughs> Only in Tetris <laughs> when it's at Evo. The Evo. I just want to make sure that we're not okay with team banging. It's just. 
When Destiny has a teabag <laughs> emote like this, it's gonna be the worst, dude. I'm gonna use that fucking thing. So they currently have one where you're pouring tea. Oh, that's the closest thing. You might as well. I pick mean, that one up. the women's soccer team when she scored a goal, or oh, she did the tea thing, teabag with a little oh. pinky. Just, she, she did. She did the Randy Orton she, thing. She too. was smoking a blunt. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> But wasn't there also like miss? And I don't know if this is misconduct, but there was a last Evo. There was a Smash Brothers tournament, and the two people were just like oh, because yeah, two yeah. because Cloud and Bayonetta weren't banned. They were like, "This is a joke," and people were booing them. And that that's just another thing. But well, they were they, they were just like they weren't playing playing exactly. Actually. And I'm like, man, I feel like that's bad. I don't know. I feel like that could fall under bad sports. Possibly, I, it's I at the ref's you. discretion. I agree with you because like, there's there's a lot of times like rule wise, you're not going to be able to write everything in there. Like, so you kind of have to set a you know like a kind Judge of like a call the ref. Yeah, exactly. But like they found a way around it. Like there's they're not you know bad mouthing each other. They're not like you know obviously popping off or anything like that. But they're extending the match to an, to a time that isn't necessary. Yeah. And yeah, I well, think I mean, it's just a, like they're making light of like this is a, a, a prestigious like yeah. competition and all this stuff. Yeah, and I think that's where a judgment call should be made, where it's like you know someone comes up to someone's like, hey, if you guys don't play, we'll get the third and fourth yeah. place people to, to to come on. We'll disqualify <laughs> you both. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> pop on. I'm I'm running a tight ship here, guys. I'm pop in. But I do think, yeah, I think, like, again, they got to be more strict with this. I, I feel like a lot of times they're, they're very lenient. Yeah. They're like, oh, we have, you know, we understand this is not very, you know, Yeah, a lot of, like, whatever. kids, young kids, a lot of egos because they're, like, on the top of the world, top of their game. A lot of times, though, too, is when, like, a decision is made, like, a strict decision, you, there's a lot of backlash either, yeah. like, on the decision Twitter. or on the company, you know, whoever. Yeah. So like that's another thing that people got to deal with, you know, or specifically the the event, which is why they're always either the embedded, yeah. I mean, puts them in a tough spot. Yeah. I, I just feel like they got to stand firm and have a very clear, a clear you. message of which like, is, yeah, which listen, we respect the players. This is what we got to do, mm -hmm. and it's got to like it's got to translate. Like it, yeah. it, it's not we're, it's not like asking a really outrageous thing, and it's not like doing a really outrageous thing. It's saying, look. We have a clear guideline. Our goal is this. Our our this is the consequence. And we if we want a healthy environment, yeah. it's 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 like battling toxicity in video games as a whole. It's like it's a challenging thing, but like I don't know how. Else yeah, they they they, they got to start from the beginning because again, I don't think they ever make clear cut rules. But yeah, you make clear cut rules, you stick with the decisions, and then you can always go back to be like it's there on the thing. They didn't. Make. Yeah, but a lot, like that's the thing is they don't. <laughs> They don't go by those rules. I want to look up lenient. to see what they have. Like if like Evo has a gut. Like I feel like if anyone would, they. I, I know that the biggest thing right now that's being enforced is like showering, which obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's there were important. there is there is <laughs> turnings where it's like if oh I get what you mean. There's a person smelling your armpits, and if you weren't of <laughs> you know the deodorant good place. hygiene, you got disqualified from being able to play. Good on them. They need to do that. Wash in your balls. They need to do that at conventions, please. Mm. Deodorant police. Mm. That the problem is conventions are much much because in this one they're they were only getting like only the people that were actually in tournaments that were that's crazy they were because like it's it's not as many but if you if you try to do that with every attendee that is a lot of people you're sniffing armpits of you know it's very difficult. <laughs> no, well you don't have you don't have people sniff armpits you it's like a the terrorist thing like if you see something suspicious if you smell a foul odor you got to point them out <laughs> it's your duty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if okay. you see someone suspicious, point them. It's like if you smell someone suspicious, you point them out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so Evo has has their got rules and guidelines. Okay. They're very clearly l listed, but itemized, not clearly enforced. Oh, no, mm. we're, we're not talking about Evo. We're talking about I don't know where where was this event? The CEO. One. Yes, yeah. that's pretty, still pretty big. The fuck does that stand for? Consumer Electronics. No. Um, Orgy. Chief. Something up. Like a <laughs> pop up. Anyone visibly in Evo rules, anyone visibly intoxicated or otherwise under the influence of drugs or alcohol will be immediately ejected from the tournament and may be banned. If you do not cooperate immediately, you will, we will not hesitate to contact local authorities. We have always enjoyed violence free events, and this is zero tolerance issue. Keep it in the game, keep it to yourself. No sexually explicit acts, explicit nudity, 
or solicitation of non-consensual sexualization. Well, there goes some of the cosplayers. Any of the following in or around the event hall will result in a perma ban. The, fo- the fo- oh, the following. Collusion of any kind with your competitor is considered cheating. If a tournament director, you hear that, Trump? No collusion. <laughs> <laughs> Next Evo. <laughs> if a tournament director determines that any competitor is colluding to manipulate the results or intentionally underperforming. Like, I guess that situation. Not the collaborating players may be immediately disqualified. This determination I is made at the sole discretion of the director, the t- tournament director. I think that's happened before, and just people haven't got caught. Yeah. Anyone disqualified in this manner forfeits all rights to any titles or prizes they may have earned otherwise for that tournament. And then this is the one I think where we're talking about. Evo has a zero tolerance policy towards violence, threats of violence, intimidation, harassment, sexual or otherwise, and other forms of thuggery. Any threat of violence, harassment, extreme intimidation, or violence of any kind will result in an immediate and lifetime ban. Pop-offs. I feel like... I feel like at EVO, you get cheer. Like, you just yeah. see the cheer. I don't... I can't recall a time where they do what, like, along the lines of, like, what, what, like, that kind of... I feel like that's, like, street tournaments, not <laughs> street fights. <laughs> street, the real street fighter. See, but the thing is, like... I like at this event, obviously they just they pulled them apart. But I don't know if the guy got did, was the repercussions were repercussions for that guy. I don't even know if it would happen on Evo to be honest with you. With that clear of a court cut, they, 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 they become very lenient because they'll be like, you, you know, know what? It was your first they, offense. They bent the rule, man. The sexual explicit punko mm-hmm. would take his shirt off. Yeah, see, I, I'm telling you, they don't enforce the rules like. So the rules are there. It's they're not they're not always enforcing them. Well, yeah. it's not sexual. I think the, 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 taking the shirt off. It's a pop off. Yeah, if a girl took off her shirt off though, mm-hmm. I get huh? a nosebleed. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> well, the pair were you eventually get, get separated <laughs> by water. by this stuff. The confrontation was definitely allowed to go on for a very long time. The tournament's official policy. This is to the incident you were referring to at CEO. Official policy states that it expects all attendees to behave in an adult manner and control yourselves and treat others with respect. It's not entirely clear how these guidelines apply to pop-offs, and CEO staff have not responded to requests for comment. Um, let's see. But no repercussions. That's what you're so far, for. yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm trying to find. Oh. Yeah, and I guess I I, I want to be clear with like how my opinion is. There's no security. Some some people at CEO were, had observed fist fights taking place in the venue, and no, no one, one no one was there to yeah. Oh. See, and if there's no security, how do you then, enforce exactly. someone being kicked out? You know, like you can't. Like it's just and not I mean, there. No sexual. So this is a guy who won. Yeah, he takes off his shirt and he starts like, you know, that's an intimidating thing right there. Yeah. Two nipples, four nipples, not a single sit up. <laughs> that's what they said. Not a single sit up. <laughs> Shit. But uh, again, like, it, they're very lenient, like, because I, I don't know. I, I guess maybe the venues see themselves as still small, or not the venues, but like the events as still small. And this is like, Worthy enough to get views, get attention that can bring more people yeah. to watch. Clips. Yeah, exactly. But uh, again, like if you want to be, you get what comes with it. Yeah, and if you want to be, if you want to get bigger, you got to be more stricter. You got to have these rules that you got to enforce, and it just Staff is to enforce yeah. them. Yeah, with the pop off again, like a super quick, like you know, like a cheer is one thing. Uh, in your face, like yeah. For me, like, just, like, the only thing I would allow is just, like, a what now and then move out of the way. Yeah. Like, but if, if like, the way this Extended. happened, I would, like, if I was running that event, I'd be like, dude, you're gone. Like, you're disqualified. You did not win this event. Get Zangief over here. Devil's advocate, but in the player's point of view, the emotions are running and you got the adrenaline and. Yeah. You but can't control you wanna, it. You want to be a pro? You got to keep that in check. <laughs> it, it's true. I mean, you know, and, and it's, it's what the same was it? thing with Keep with it in the sports. game. Keep it to yourself. I it's, just, well, I think about, remember the basketball where the people were, they were fighting the fans, the crazy, the brawl. I just think about that. Like, damn. Yeah, I don't, this is just crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it's not, it's not like it's unseen elsewhere. Like you hear soccer games, fucking riots oh, happening. Kill, they kill people. 
Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like crazy yeah. stuff though. I you know. It's like this is the kind of stuff that get, kind of keeps it alive cuz it's just like so embedded in what the community mm-hmm. is, the identity of it. But at the same time, it's what could be keeping it back mm. from, you know, getting higher in certain games yeah. or certain gaming communities. Cuz like some games it's easier to have the, the 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 tournaments run and maybe that makes it more inclined to be like let's have that game at tournaments more or something. I don't know. Yeah, cuz these type of events, the way we see it is it's it's, it's an open floor yeah. And it's not like we have not seen like a stage type thing going on. I mean, we've seen just one. like the top stuff. Yeah. But like, you know, once it starts getting like leagues of legends, dude, like they're doing everything right. Like they've got oh. like stages. Mm-hmm. Platform. I mean, not everything, but the, the way they portray their tournaments, it like it sure. looks like straight up a fucking sport. Like, okay. you know, like they have Dota. a stage going. Yeah. They got like the announcers in a nice booth. I think Overwatch is another somewhere. one. Yeah, exactly. They got like you know attire they got to wear to look nice, like uniforms. Outfits. Exactly. Like they're yeah, they're, they're, they're enforcing this. Commentators are funny, but they're not professional. <laughs> yeah. You know, reading reading <laughs> off you know like donations, and they're just like thanks, P I N S forty nine. You know, like. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like if again, if you want to get to the status of what like League of Legends is starting to do or, or has been doing. I, you gotta get all this going. Starcraft, on. those fuckers, they run a tight. Like they got the whole ESPN like sports zone kind of like commentator table. Let's look at that replay. All this shit. Leagues of Legends has a channel on ESPN, or not a channel, but like a time slot. Yeah. Wow. You, you can watch Leagues of Legends on fucking cable TV. Top dude. ten plays a week. Brought to you by T-Mobile. So if you want to get to that status again, you gotta start. And like fighting games have been all longer than what Leagues of Legends. Well, has, it's you know? also like wh- how is the how is it circulating? Is it just the because a lot like Smash Brothers has always been grassroots. They've always been like Nintendo back this stuff up. It's maybe League is backing it up like that. This is a bigger thing of like where how is that one able to succeed where this one falls? I definitely think this is a part of it, like what you're saying. But I wonder how much of the other stuff. Is or isn't there for these other ones? I think like Capcom really pushes puts it in theirs, but I don't know what about these other ones. Like yeah, the yeah. Smash Brothers, the you know the random. I, I guess it will take time, but the thing is, I guess what I'm saying is, fighting tournaments have been out for a lot longer than what League as a game itself has been out. Um, so I feel like. Uh, but you're talking about an entire genre versus one game. One game that is very, very successful. That's always in the top. A whole genre versus one game. So I'm just Yeah, but this whole genre, like you look at the Twitch view, like just using the Twitch views as a metric, how often are any of those games in the top? But it again, like we're combining them as a genre. So if you add all those games together, what is the actual view? I, I as still think it's to, smaller. It, it probably. <laughs> um, but the thing is, so with tournaments, it, 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 it allows a lot of these different games from this genre to, to play in one room. And I feel like at, what, would have, what should have already happened is like what's kind of sort of happening where like we have an Evo, we have sure. uh, a CEO and where these events have gotten bigger. Yeah. But I feel like at this point, if they were doing everything right, they could be, you know, as big as what or, or as nice looking as yeah. what League of Legends. Well, is. here's another point of the one versus the collective. The collective ones, the ones where they are collective tournaments are well established like the CEOs and the but, Evos but when you look at just a tournament for Smash Brothers Melee or just a tournament for Guilty Gears yeah. it could be like maybe 12, 12, 20 people divided we fall dude yeah whereas League is like this massive thing with a massive following it's like or Dota or yeah. whatever These, the, it's like a singular mm-hmm. thing and, it, and I think that allows for more opportunities to like we don't have to we're not funding other people's games. We're funding because they're competitors. Like the the game creators might be hesitant when they have a collective game. They're like, "Well, we want to help our game, but we don't want Soul Calibur there or yeah. or whatever game." You know. And the thing is, too, to have these venues and to do the what what League of Legends does specifically, there is a lot of money involved. Like to get like these these Fortnite? specific venues. Yeah. Yeah. They got money. They fucking toss them. And, and usually, what what the what the uh, tournament does is most of that money goes towards the uh, the actual award. <laughs> the pri- the yeah. yeah, the prize money, uh, which usually still isn't even a lot compared to what yeah. you know. Yeah. They got to like do a lot of tournaments. Yeah, so. yeah. Cool. So, good topic. What have you guys been up to? I watched yesterday. 
What did you watch yesterday? Not yesterday, though. <laughs> I watched the movie yesterday. So yesterday, yesterday? And then, so if you looked online, it would be yesterday and then, quote, like, parentheses, 2019. Mm. <laughs> um, what, can you give us a quick yeah, um, synopsis? What, so what is this movie about? I've heard m- of it. Movie follows a musician who does covers for the Beatles. Okay. Um, and so he's just trying to make it big in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been playing like small stuff like parties and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then he kind of plays a, a bigger venue, kind of like a music festival. And he like, as soon as he gets the news, he's like, no, this is, this is fantastic. He's like, well, you're kind of playing on the side, you know? And, and he's like, no, it doesn't matter. And then like when it cuts to that scene, it's like a tent that's like far away from the venue <laughs> and there's no one inside there, you know? Dang. And so after this event, he's like, you know what? I, I think I'm done. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to get big as a musician. Um, following that, he gets in an accident uh, wakes up and everyone has forgotten who the Beatles are. And he is specifically like a, a cover artist for, you know, Beatles songs. So he, my question is, how did he find out that everyone forgot? So this is spoilers. But I just, he, I'm kind of curious how he was gifted after the event. He's or after the accident, he's gifted a, a brand new guitar. And so he's hanging out with his friends. He's like, can you play a song? And he plays yesterday. Mm. And the, the one of the girls is like, that's a fan. That's a beautiful song. Did you write that? And he's like, what are you talking about? This is the Beatles, dude. And she's like, who, who, what? Who's the Beatle? And he's like, are you joking? And the, you know, the whole friends. And then like, he jokes to one of his buddies who's always a, like kidding. He's like, dude, help me out. And he's like, you, you guys understand, like, there's always, you know, musicians talk about, like, knowing small-time artists. Like, you know the Beatles, just, like, the handkerchiefs and the, you know. And the guy's like, are you serious? Like, you don't know who the Beatles, like, uh, you know, like, I'm not trying to be rude. I just, I, there's, the Beatles don't exist or whatever. And so he goes to Google it, and it just shows a picture of Beatles, you oh, know, wow. like, like, actual the bug, bugs. The yeah, bugs. the bugs. And okay. so that's how he finds out. Like, he's okay. like, are you serious? And so... He's like, dude, I can write all these songs. And <laughs> but Ta-ching. obviously it doesn't. It That's doesn't a turn out subplot that of Hot Tub Time Machine. But it doesn't turn oh, out yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. Like, um, you know, it, it, it takes time for 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 someone to be found or to be scouted. <laughs> so he's like playing. all. He's like, dude, book me any venue right now. Like, I will play this song. People will love it. It'll be the most famous thing. And so he plays the, the first venue and everyone's like, cool. Yeah. And he's like. Is it me? Like, I think everyone just it's not hates. just the song. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm playing one of the greatest songs in the in, in hmm. of all time, and no one cares. Mm. I think it's fucking me. And he's like, so he gets dissuaded. Okay. And then eventually, some like someone's like, hey, I'm I'm a you know a scouter, and like I'd like you know to, and that's where kind of Ed Sh- Sheeran gets into play and stuff like that. Um, Good movie. Good movie, yeah. I liked it a lot. It, it turned out to be like a super lovey-dovey movie. And I mean, it was still a really good movie, though. I still recommend it to people. Cool. Uh, if you love the Beatles, I recommend this movie. Cool. Um, what else did I do? I think I mentioned last time we watched, I watched Toy Story. Yeah, yes. we talked about it last time. Um, other than that, I bought the same thing. I bought the PlayStation 4 today, actually, or PlayStation 4. You got PlayStation a PlayStation Classic. 4, dude. You got so many games to play. <laughs> I got the PlayStation Classic. Uh, today, specifically, it's 24, and it got restocked on Amazon. I'm like, I'm too lazy to go anywhere to physically buy it. I'll buy it on Amazon. Um, and then, what else did I do? I bought... Did you play anything? I haven't really played anything. I mean, I, I, I re-logged into, like, Final Fantasy fourteen, but I haven't... Like, I literally logged in and was like, cool, and logged off. Like, I haven't done anything. Haven't really been playing World of Warcraft either. So they lost. We lost some boys. He'll be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going according to plan. Yeah, again. I know. <laughs> it's getting annoying, but yeah, he'll get back. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. It's like a switch is on and off, dude. There's no in between. Um, (laughs) Other than that, what else did I do? Um, I I don't nothing else, I guess. Okay, Jay. Resident Evil Four. I know Doom and Wolfenstein. I apologize. (laughs) I just I don't know. It's weird. I just felt like playing Resident Evil Four, and I just been streaming it. And good times. Stream is doing all right. People. Okay, so I noticed. Advice to streamers, 
this is what happens to me. Like the first two hours, no one will watch, and then people will start logging in. I think Twitch after kicks in like after two hours. Like they start recommending you or something because it's weird. It's mm-hmm. always after two hours. Like, or maybe like the like like the algorithm. Like the longer you're on that game, true. And then as people like log in and off, you're like getting true. pushed to the top, so that's, you start getting becoming like the second, you know, true. first page possibly. And so that's why you start getting more views. Yeah, how big is the the viewership for Resident Evil Four right now? It's like as five. a, as, oh, okay. five-ish channel. Oh, so you're <laughs> not not you. I meant like oh, how many people channels? are streaming Fuck. Resident Evil Four? Last time I checked was like twenty. Oh, okay. so it's not like crazy. So but get, the, the number support. one guy only has like a hundred viewers, CCVs. And okay. then everyone else kind of tapers off at twenty, and then okay. there's a lot of ones and twos. Yeah. The fucking two million people streaming with. Zero to one viewers. 94, feels, 95? Feels bad. Feels bad. Mm. Um, I've been playing Into the Breach, which is weird. Uh, off on, stream. On your own time, yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to really understand the game. Speed. Only with a certain mech. Speedrunner? Or are you playing like normal difficulty, easy? Nor- I'm playing normal. I don't know how people can play it on hard. Yeah. Like I haven't tried it on hard, but normal is challenging for me. Yeah, it is. It's it's already like I started playing on easy just to get a feel for the mechanics and understand like the the upgrade trees. So I'm like, okay, this is what I should be focusing on. And then after I did that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back into it on normal. So now that I know this going in, I'm like, okay, I can better plan my steps. But yeah, you take losses and there's very little like room for error. Mm-hmm. And do you have any particular like? Things you like, don't like? I like the wrestling hulks. Resting hulks. <laughs> They're like the best like unit. I think there's a better unit, which I haven't bought yet, but resting hulks just destroy, dude. For me, they're just like really cool. Do they mm-hmm. just rust everything out? They rust, yeah. Rusty, rusty. Is it because of the bath water? Mm-hmm. Are, you, are you hitting all the extra objectives? Um, I try to like yeah. I'm playing on normal. I realize like you're gonna take hits. Yeah. So you just gotta figure out. Same like I would even let some pilots die. Yeah. Like I'll be like, you know what? It's okay. We'll just it's all, it's b- it's almost better to. For, I mean, if it's fucked up, but like between what you have to lose, it's better to lose a mech and a pilot than it is to lose the resource of the the cities and stuff. Because what? once no. you th- you're collectively running out of all the the power. Then mm-hmm. your run ends. Yeah. So you need to prioritize that. And if you it. lose a pilot, do you have to buy a pilot? Again? No, you just get another pilot. Oh. But it's base stats. Yeah, okay, but okay. if I like, like fuck up, fuck up, I just abandon timeline and oh. save that one pilot. <laughs> you know, there's like a mini ability, like once per stage, you can reset. Yes. Uh, okay. I did not know that. I'm like, uh, what the fuck? I completely missed. I've been it. losing pilots. I'm like, this makes it so much easier. Yeah. That's that's that. cool that they got that timeline thing going. It's on. It's such a good game. I love that game. <laughs> I think I'm going to be playing Resident Evil 4 for a long time. 100% in Maybe like, like, well... Until Resident Evil 5? I beat normal. I beat two of the side things. I, did do, I need to do mercenaries mode, which is the hardest thing in the game. That is the For the trophies, mode. right? No. Not for the trophies. They have achievements, though, in the, yeah. in the game. Do it for the trophies. And then I got to play pro mode. Pro mode's going to be easy after I beat mercenaries. Okay. But i uh, been watching Los Espookies. On HBO? On HBO. I've been, I heard good things. It looked fun. It's funny, dude. Yeah. It's freaking... It's weird. It's So it's a brand called Off-Kilter Humor. So that's what the humor is called. I don't know what else, whether the show has that. But it's, it's fucking weird. It's like Family Guy weird. Like, there are moments where, like... I mean, minor spoilers. There's a U.S. ambassador. And she's like... The guy's like, how'd you find us? And she's like, I got my ways. And then, like, there's a helicopter. And then... Like a pink swing and she like flies away. <laughs> what the fuck? I was just like, this is fucking weird. Oh, the scene that sucks. you put up where like, it seemed like a game show type thing where it's like, oh, who okay. can survive the longest? And then like, and she's like, or this person. And everyone's like, who the hell is that? And he's like, he's like, I, know was, like I know they're like, I know this isn't the rules, <laughs> but I vote him off. Who else? And everyone raises their hand and he's like, he's okay. Like, and he like he leaves. Just, so he's gone off he the scene again. It's just fucking... <laughs> I love that. So like, I'm assuming like the scene seems like he, this is the only scene he's ever been in, yeah. and it's also the last scene he's ever been in. <laughs> the way I would describe it, it's like the anti Scooby Doo. Instead of like solving mysteries, they're creating mysteries. Like they get hired <laughs> yeah. to like make ghosts yeah. and shit. Oh wow, That's experiences. Funny. Yeah, there's this other funny scene where like the U.S. ambassador she gets a note for the invitation to the game of winning the inheritance. She's like, I can't read this. It's in code, and, she, and then. 
There's a lady next to No, it's in Spanish, ma'am. Like, oh. <laughs> so, That's good. Yeah. Cool. I'm look, the only thing I hate, it comes out every Friday. Oh, it's release it's, everything. Please. Yeah. Netflix. 30 minutes. It's HBO. It's 30, well, 30, yeah, 30 minutes only, too. So it goes by super quick. Yeah. Cool. Uh, for me, I had family over, so it's been pretty busy, um, you know, spending time with them. We did, like, my cousin, my brother, they're huge on Smash, so it's just, like, endless Smash. But thank God, because I did not realize I needed, I, I got the code for Piranha Plant. I didn't know I needed to redeem the code. And the deadline for that was the end of June. I, so I redeemed it the day before. I was like, fuck, if we didn't sit to play Smash, I would not have gotten the character I already paid for. Um, Piranha Plant's weird, dude. He's like, pretty OP. Joker's OP. Oh, yeah. Joker is broken OP. MK Leo. He's just fucking like, let's take every major character with a, like a crazy... Like, they gave Their him PK bands. Fire. They gave him a whip. They gave him sword slashes. They gave him, like, 15 other things. I'm like, man, fuck, what the fuck? He's like the uh, like okay. the Wii character that you build, but and with his the best persona best. form is fucking even more OP. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I, the, I don't know how to use him, but yeah, I can see how easily like a pro player would take advantage. The guy at CEO yeah. doesn't normally win tournaments. He uses that player and has been just dominating, yeah. dominating. Um, Piranha Plant's fun, but yeah, it's different. And like it makes you think of like how many characters that are that play very uniquely or very oddly on Smash. Like there's a lot of sword characters. There's a lot of uh, you know, ha- like big characters that are like melee, like Bowser and stuff. But then, like you see, like Piranha Plant, you see uh, Ridley, you see Simon Belmont. Like Simon, like the, it's like just so unique and all these. I'm like, man, it's crazy. Like it's cool. Um, let's play some Smash and then Mario Maker. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I played. Too. You, so you've been enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, the netcode's broken and I went into a whole spiel about it. So I can play Tetris 99 fine. Me populating a list to download the levels doesn't On load. On Wi-Fi, right? Doesn't load. Like, takes forever. If it does load, it takes forever. I need to buy a, a wired adapter. So just my experience, I don't, this is, my experience was day one on Wi-Fi, smooth. Then the rest of my experiences have been hardwired. So I can't speak to like maybe like after everyone started getting because it's been getting a lot of people. People a lot of people have been buying this game. So I'm imagining Nintendo wasn't ready for that and they're like, on Nintendo online? Yeah. <laughs> Because you need the on, you need to have the online f- service to be able to s- populate, s- send and receive online maps. Right. But I do like the feature that has like you can download them locally. So there's a level that's called like people are doing like the filter is great. I love that. I'm like all right, yeah. filter it. I don't want auto scroll. I don't want like super crazy. I don't want speed run. Like that you could put all these filters on. Speed runs fun. No, it is fun. <laughs> I just like I was looking for like puzzle. Oh. Like, I just want to figure out how to do this. And that was what I was trying to go for. And we were rotating. We're like, all right, everyone gets three tries, and then you pass the controller. And you, we were like, pick a level with a thirty to twenty percent completion, uh, like success rate, just to like make it accessible, but not make it too crazy. And even then, it was kind of fucked up. Like there was one where it was like Call of Koopa Thulu. Shit. It wasn't hard. It was just like it. It was like Dead Space freaky. Like all of a sudden, strobe lights hit and some weird fucking music happens, and you feel like something's chasing you. And there's a spotlight only on you, so you can't tell uh, what else is there. Uh, I'm like, fucking go! I don't want to know. <laughs> like it just gave me anxiety. So I I watched uh, Maximilian dude yeah. play, and he played a one where it had auto scroll, yeah. and you couldn't jump. Oh, oh yeah, there's, you can do unique things where it's like you can't cross the finish line. Like it won't even let you until yeah. you do a sub. Yeah, like a, so a he, he was, they were doing like the pass the controller yeah. thing. And so I got in and immediately some guy's like, he like, he's like, oh, no, 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 no. And then he jumps and then they start making fun of him for jumping. And at, at the moment, I didn't understand what was going on. Yeah. And then I realized like it's a no jump thing. So as soon as you jump, the game tells you like you failed sure. one of the things and it kicks you out. Yeah. And... It, some of the puzzle parts for no jumping was super unique, dude. I was like, that's actually really cool. Like, because there's a part where it's a cliff, yeah. and you're like, how the fuck do you fall off a cliff without getting your feet off the ground? Yeah. Like, even if you don't jump, your feet will be off the ground. It counts it. 
But I guess if you get close to the ledge, a, like a little monster pops up oh. that has like a safe thing that, that on over his head. And so he, he like runs to you, picks you up. Then he runs back the other way. And then like he runs off the hit. The thing hits like a bump and still sends you flying. And then you're still touching his stuff. And then you kind of touch the top of the of the next part. Okay. And, and you never left the ground. And I was like, wow, dude. Dang. I was like, that's genius. And that's too difficult. <laughs> well, the thing, the two that I really like so far, there's one where it was Metroid. And so what it was was this large map. And I had to go all the way to the end. I had to get a mushroom so I could go back to the other side so I could hit a brick to get to this. You it was a Metroid it. level. Like I was like, this is fucking cool. <laughs> and then the second one was called the Room of Requirement. And for those not familiar, Room of Requirement mm -hmm. is, a, is an area in the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And the way it was was there was eight pipes with numbers above each of them in random order. And my brother's like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And he just went in a random pipe. I'm like, wait, you got to go in the order the numbers are. So we go to one. He has a springboard. He gets the springboard. He goes to room two. He throws the springboard. It lets him get to a height. He gets a star, and we're like, fuck, that's a timer. Get to room three now. And it was literally just a bunch of like things he couldn't walk on unless he had a star. And I was like, fucking get across there. And we're like, man. Cool. I was like, this is kind of cool. And then there was another level I did, which was literally one room. The flag was there, and it's like, complete the puzzle to get the flag. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, this is an escape room <laughs> built into my, I'm like, this is pretty cool. So I save them locally because I don't know how to find them again. And I'm like, I want to I keep trying at these. Is there a See, limit? There, yeah, there's like, as far as I know so far, there's only one page, but it's like a big array. I don't know if you can go to more. Or See, not. I'm the exact opposite. I look for the lowest percentage. I'm like, so the lowest one I did, I fucking posted. It took me two hours. Hey, but I heard you're going to play Bojan's. I'm going to play it, yeah, for sure. But World records. The, dude, and people on stream was like, I don't know how you can do this. Like, like I would have gave up, like, after the 10th try. There's like, some crazy ones. I was like, no, dude, I, 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 was like, I can beat it. I just got to be on fucking point. Yeah. And you had to be on point. And there was a part where, like, if you've seen the run, I had to grab a shell and kick something. Yeah. But I would get to that point with time running out. So that level is designed where you can't lose momentum. Yeah. You can't lose the speed. So... I would get to the point with the show. I was like, I don't know what to, what, I don't know what's next. I don't know if I have to throw it and then jump on it and okay. go to the event, but you just kick it and just hits the off switch. And what's shoot. crazy to me is that in order for these levels to be uploaded, the, the creator has to beat them. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you automatically know this level is beatable. <laughs> you just don't know what yeah. or how it, I don't like, see, I didn't come into wanting to make a yeah, level. Yeah. Now I want to make a level. I want to make one with, do you remember in Super Mario World, you go right here, yeah, yeah. Right here. but with the, you had with to the fly cape? and you would have to fly through like holes. And at the very end, there's a narrow hole. You had to dive down and flappy bird, bro. <laughs> the battle royale. <laughs> all, all time. <laughs> yeah. You can do co-op on some of these. <laughs> it's a good, fuck, good game. Yeah. Um, so I've been playing a little bit of that and then um, Destiny has a new, there, there's a gun, this gun, like, it, it makes me think like uh, Mario Maker in a way where it's like the possibilities. <laughs> this, it's a hand cannon. Normally hand cannons, they'll do stuff where it's like, how many more ways can I do damage? This gun, when I do get certain amount of like fires off and I hit a target a certain amount of time, I'll get a special round called a noble round. And I can stack it up to four times and I'll have four of them on the side. If I shoot a friend, it buffs them and heals them. Mm. If they're using certain guns that are already powerful and then they have this buff, they can one shot kill things. So it's like in PvP, I'm like, whoa, this could be like, let's combo things up if you're playing with a group and just like buff people. And yeah. you could play support essentially. And then on PvE, I'm like, whoa, what could this do mm. if like you're you're in a DPS phase or you're in a in a in a mechanic and like you you cancel certain things out or you cheese certain things? I'm like this is this is pretty cool like what they're adding like it makes me like see them leaning more into the rpg side of like what destiny is mm -hmm. and away from like what activision they're like we want this like competitive esport like shooter like call of duty thing and i'm like i like the direction they're going yeah um so i'm playing a little bit more of that and then um i downloaded um daddy dating simulator <laughs> this have is you heard of this you, this is the one where you're a dad water? And there's women dating no. you? No, so you're a dad. And you're, I think you're a single father. And you go into a neighborhood and you are trying to date other dads. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I and stream ready? 
I, it just looks fun. And I'm, like, it's very it's like, funny. It reminds me of uh, bathing with your dad or showers <laughs> with your dad. <laughs> so, I don't know. That was, love Hina. <laughs> There, no, but like it's cheeky, yeah. but it, it is like a like a dating sim thing. I've never played those before, but I'm like oh, this one looks fun because like some of the characters are like the super buff, athletic Asian dad, the the like burly like like all American dad, and then it's like the vampire dad, which it gets in the in the more super science fictiony, and then it's like the the super sporty dad, the super nerdy dad, the scholarly dad, and <laughs> each of them is very tropey in a yeah. certain way. He's like. I like butts, but I like a butt with a certain amount of science to it. Like, I saw the screenshot, I'm like, yeah. okay, maybe this could be fun with a group of friends. Like, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I just kind of was like, it's like, I, I had some uh, Nintendo coins, uh, and it was like, I don't know, 15 bucks? Mm -hmm. And I so brought it down to seven. I was like, okay. Um, so I'm curious how that'll be. Yeah, the, my introduction to that stuff was, uh, well, I haven't played it either, but the one I saw was like, how to full, how to... Auto boy, uh, I don't know the. You, it's essentially you're. It's like a, you're a pigeon dating, like actual people, and so it's supposed to be like, it was I guess the beginning of like the joke simulator, mm. which then it was this. I think this one came after, uh, not from the same person, but I think it was kind of like inspired from this one. Uh, and oh, sorry, it's not called. It's called Dream Daddy, oh, okay. a dad dating simulator. Gotcha. And like the way they look. You make your own dad too. Oh, you like physically like you like change. there's a character creating. Oh, that's funny. Mm. And this is like the artwork. Oh. <laughs> I see like the burly guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I showed my brother and my cousin Baba is you. They fucking got hooked. But they're like, I'm sitting there like looking at levels that I already did. I'm like, try this one, and they're like, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm like do this and like oh my god <laughs> and then like i saw them start like building the the world like how things worked in their head and like okay now they're starting to understand and i showed them a level that i did and then i was like this next one is an advanced version of that one which i still don't understand i went to the bathroom and came back like we did it it's like, all right <laughs> i got you guys in this and they're like all right yeah this is good that was fun um got those gears turning yeah um, no, I haven't watched m really much. Uh, I want to watch Spider Man sometime this weekend, S see some fireworks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just relax. So that's it for me. Yeah. Are you guys doing Fourth of July stuff? Uh, no, I'm going to be home protecting my dog. Oh, because of fireworks? Yeah. 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 Mid summer. <laughs> In stream, Resident Evil Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> you got your title, dude. There you Easy. Go. Uh, where can people find you guys? Uh, they can find me at the Folio everywhere, but not really. <laughs> at the Last Bosses everywhere. Find me at Kutcher Prime. You can find us all at the Weekly DLC, whether it's on SoundCloud, Facebook, social media, wherever. Hit us up if you have any questions at asktheweeklydlc at gmail.com. And until next time, well, DLC. You later. <laughs>